let's get a spot of tea before we get going because it's really cold outside. Should you pay $5,000 for an overdrive pedal when you could theoretically get the same overdrive pedal for $25? <laughs> That's what we'll find out. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Carilan, and it's good to have you along. Today we're taking a look at a $25 clone of a $5,000 pedal. Yes, it's the Mosky Golden Horse, and it's a clone of the Clone Centaur, uh, which comes in different variants. It has the silver one, and it has a gold one, and I think there might be something else as well. But at the moment, there's a gold one being sold on eBay for $5,000. And I've checked the prices on those, they go from anywhere between three to 5,000. That's an insane amount of money for any pedal, let alone an overdrive pedal. Now, do I actually have a Clon Centaur to compare to the Mosky? No, because I don't have that kind of money floating around. But what I do have is the Mosky Golden Horse, and I have two other clones of the Clon. Uh, that's the Wampler Tumnus and the J Rocket uh, Archer Icon. So they're all three clones of the gold version of the clon and uh, it seems there are slight differences between the clons and i have done my research so i do know how these pedals compare to the clon apart from the mosky golden horse which i've uh haven't really done any homework on as such i just thought i'd compare it to these two and offer you some thoughts in general on buying uh, vintage gear that's really expensive. So, without further ado, uh, I'll get my guitar and start playing. So, what do I have here? I have a custom mahogany strat with Seymour Duncan, YJM Fury pickups, a Marshall Plexi, I have some delay going on. This is my clean sound. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's not entirely clean. Uh, I also have a separate camera filming the three pedals, the Mosky, the Tumnus and the Archer. I have, and I also have a noise gate just because it might get a bit noisy. So let's start by trying what the Mosky sounds like. I have all three pedals set so that everything is halfway. Okay, it's sounding very good so far. Now, I got the idea for doing this video uh, when I, I had a look at what the clon costs and uh, my jaw fell to the floor um, when I noticed it was $5,000. Now, I don't know what the most you've spent on a piece of gear is, uh, let alone a pedal, and you can let me know in the comments what's the most you've spent on a pedal or a piece of gear. But uh, <laughs> the most I've spent on a piece of gear, I think, is just over $5,000, 5,000 5, euros, which will be five and a half thousand, for a guitar. Now that's not an overdrive pedal, that's a guitar. 
And I was thinking that that's a bit much. And that's a bit much for a guitar. Now, 5,000 for an overdrive pedal. I mean, it better have the heroes of ancient Greece roaring out of your speaker for that kind of a price. But I'm fairly sure it doesn't. <laughs> so I thought, why don't I try to get a cheap clone of the clone? Because I'd already tried the Tumnus and I uh, was planning on trying the Archer Icon. So why not compare those three? Uh, I have some more thoughts on this whole vintage thing that I'll kind of talk about throughout the video or at least in the end but so far the $25 pedal is sounding very good without comparing it to anything <laughs> Let's try the Wampler Tumnus. These three pedals have exactly identical controls. This one is a bit noisier with the controls set halfway. Back to the Mosky. Seems like the uh, Tumnus is a bit hotter. Let's try the Archer. One more go through all of these. Okay, so I don't think they sound identical. Um, let's see, uh, let's drop gain all the way and uh, put output all the way up because some people like to use these as a clean boost. So keeping treble halfway, uh, starting... Starting with the golden horse. Maybe that's why it costs 25. Tumnus. See if it makes any kind of coherent noise. <laughs> Let's use the noise gate. Yeah, that's basically unusable. Let's see at what point, if you drop the volume, at what point it stops. Okay, here's where the problem with really cheap gear comes in. Uh, I've tried other products by Mosky and I really like the D250 and the D250X. They were very good, but there's an extra switch on the D250X which didn't work on my, uh, my particular pedal. Um, the obsessive drive didn't sound anything like the OCD. And this sounds like this. So very quickly we get to the kind of <laughs> conclusion that uh, a $5,000 pedal is better 
than at least this particular $25 pedal, pedal, pedal. So I guess this kind of brings this video to an abrupt conclusion because yeah, the golden horse stinks because you can't use that thing. But in general, the archer and the Tumnus, if memory serves me, they're roughly a hundred dollars, slightly above that. And both are made really well. And they both, so far, Both sound very nice. They don't sound identical, which is actually kind of interesting. But seeing as they should be clones of the same thing, if I've gathered correctly, might be I'm wrong. I actually prefer the Tumnus, but I might do a separate video where I compare the two properly, um, because this was supposed to be a review of the Mosky Golden Horse and a more general dis discussion on uh, vintage gear. Now. The new gear that I have here, this the brand spanking new gear that I have here is the Mosky Golden Horse and it's broken already. Uh, so, number one, what do we learn from this video? Number one, buying really cheap gear can be really dangerous. The Joyo Vintage Overdrive that I have here uh, was great until it broke. <laughs> so if you do plan to use really cheap gear, always get a spare or two. Now, that still leaves the question, should you spend 5,000 on a, on, on a pedal? On, uh, it costs more than the Fractal Audio Axe FX or the Kemper. And it costs way more than the Quad Cortex. You can get two Quad Cortex for Cortexes for the price of one clon. And you'd still have money left over. You could go to a restaurant. You could watch a live show, not that you can watch any live shows at the moment. And here's the thing, from my own experience and from my research, talking to people who know about this stuff way more than I do, here's the thing, vintage gear can be quite fun, but it's most often not worth the money. In terms of the clon, I watched the video over on that pedal show where they compared a clone to these two pedals, the Tumnus and the Archer, and a few other ones, and they came to the conclusion that there were quite small differences, and basically even those differences uh, could be so that maybe you actually preferred one of the clones over the original clone. I think it was JHS uh, who had something on their um, YouTube page where they compared the Tube Screamer to a Tube Screamer, uh, only a vintage Tube Screamer to a new Tube Screamer, and there was no difference. Um, the only difference was price, and slightly the pots being slightly dirty on the old one. And I once, long ago, had the chance to try the original of one of these Plexis. Now these have a slight difference to them because the orig originals don't have an effects loop, these do. But in terms of sound, we A-B'd. We recorded both and whilst playing, I didn't kind of notice any real difference in playability or anything like that in feel. Um, and listening back when we A-B'd them, there was a tiny difference, but that was probably due to the pots again being dirty on the old amp so it wasn't quite as bright as the new one, plus the valves or tubes were, don't know about the condition of those. No real difference. Now, you might be the kind of person who really gets off on having old gear, I mean properly old gear, and that's fine. But personally, I would save my money and get something cheaper. I think this is the last time I buy anything from Mosky. And like I said, the clone, $5,000. If you're rolling around in money, by all means, get one. And if I ever roll around in money, I will get one. And I will compare it to the Tumnus and the Archer and whatever else is floating around out there. And uh, yeah, I'm suspecting that the results will be pretty much the same as today. 
But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments because uh, you might have experience with an actual clone and I might be wrong, you never know. And if I am wrong, I'm happy to hold my hands up and say, yes, I'm wrong. Um, if you want to watch more of my gear reviews, there's a playlist here somewhere. Most of them don't end with the gear being broken. I don't even know if this has warranty and I don't care, it just costs $25. Well, <laughs> just put it on top there somewhere. And uh, like the video if you like it, click like that is, and subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. Join me on Patreon because I buy the gear that I review, so you get an honest review. Now, if Mosky had sent me this pedal and it was broken, I probably wouldn't have released this review this way. But since I bought the pedal, I'm reviewing this particular pedal, and this is what it sounded like. Yeah, not all of these go according to plan.